the HNZ Show. I'm Zain. And I'm Hamza. And this is the HNZ, HNZ Show. Show. Right, Brother Hamza, I'd like to start by asking a very important question. Where have you been for the last two weeks? I've been sat here waiting for you, man. Zaini, I think my car broke down. I've been waiting. I've been, I've been very looking forward to coming here, but unfortunately, this, this, uh, we had some technical issues and we were off air for a while. But nevertheless, we are back. Yep, I think what well, first week we were on because um, this, we, we, well, we've had a program for two weeks now. Reason being, obviously, that brothers just said then uh, technical issues. And also, I went on Ziyadat last week to Iran and I've just come back today. So please bear with me if I look jet lagged or I fall asleep halfway through the program. Um, wake me up, we need your call. If you fall asleep, don't worry, I'm here, I'm going to wake him up. <laughs> I'm not going to let you fall asleep. That's fine, that's sorted then, that's brilliant. Right, as everyone knows, um, we're back again now, so don't worry, we're not going anywhere. Inshallah, we'll be here every Sunday. Brother, who sponsors this program? This show is sponsored by MyShop14.com. They provide you all with all the gifts and the, the prize for the quiz. Brilliant, and they also do some rings as well, I believe. Yes, and if you want to go and check out their website, they do all the rings for all kind of signs, for all kind of um, months of the year. So make sure you go check out the website for any rings, any stones, anything that you're interested in. Definitely. As you all know, we always have a quiz every week in which we love to give away a prize each week to a viewer out there. Um, so, but we're not going to give the quiz, quiz question away yet. Not yet. But we can show the prize, I believe. So let's see what this week's prize is. This week's prize is a digital camera. This is a 10 megapixel camera. You can connect it to your PC. You can take photographs and transfer them to your PC. And it also has internal memory. And uh, 10 megapixel is quite good quality. So I'm sure you guys will, whoever wins the prize will be a one lucky person. There you go. You're going to be taking pictures with that. And inshallah, you'll have a lot of memory saved there on that camera. So that is the quiz question. Well, not the quiz question, the quiz prize. prize. But the question will be coming up shortly. Just make sure you stay tuned in today if you want a chance of winning that beautiful digital camera that you've just seen there. But uh, this week, as you all know, we always start with a topic and we, uh, we blend it in with yes. a holy personality. And um, this week's topic, brother. This week's, this week's topic. This oh, <laughs> yes. What's this week's topic? This week's topic, okay, then. I think we're already giving away the topic. <laughs> this week's topic is anger. As you can see, both of us are trying to get angry and. Oh, that's scary. Actually. That's scary. <laughs> that's no anger. So this week's topic is anger. This week's topic is anger, and as you all know, we always had a, we always have a video clip ready for you to enjoy, to learn from, and inshallah, that video clip is going to be played anytime now. So inshallah, make sure you watch this video clip and join us very soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum Omar, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, what are you saying? Nothing much, just finish work, what's the plan? No, I'm just chilling man, are you coming down? What time do you want to come down? Come down as soon as possible. Okay, I'll make my way now, I'll probably be there in about 15-20 minutes, is that okay? Brilliant, see you soon, yeah? No problem, Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Wa alaikum salam, you okay? Yeah, I'm doing well, about you? Yeah, sir. Omar said he's come down as well. Alright, is he? How long is he going to be? He said about 15 20 minutes. What about yourself? Uh, I'll be 10 minutes, I think. That's fine, yeah. Uh, are you hungry? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's brilliant. I'll get some food ordered as well, yeah? No Alright, see you soon. Take care, yeah? Take care. Alright, good afternoon. What's going on for you? You see, you got some pieces as well, man. How you doing? I'm alright, how are you? Not bad, what's happening? Nothing much, just working. Right, man. What have you been up to? Oh, we're busy with all guests, so I've got some time for you up now, so I thought we'd chill out and play some games. Uh, yeah, yeah. Football? Yeah, anything, man. Oh, right, 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 got right, some pieces as well, I think. What um, flavour of it? Chicken, can you make sure you help yourself, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Who's playing? Oh, yeah, I'm playing. Me, you first? Nah, you guys will play, but I'm playing. Yeah, I'm going to eat. Right. Right. Oh, what a goal! Oh, what a goal! I mean, this has been like three minutes. 
I'm going to play the winner, yeah? Uh, you know what? I, I'm not playing well for this first game, yeah. I want a rematch. Is that okay? No, you got to be playing, man. Come on, I've got to show some skills, proper skills. I'm not bothered. You can put it down to you guys. <laughs> So what have you been up to recently then? Nothing man, I've been busy at work, uh, back, back again tomorrow actually, but I thought this is not long ago gym in it, so I had this the day off for the coffee lads over, I've enjoyed ourselves as well. Right. How's, how's the gym going? Gym's good man. You go in the morning? Nah, I normally go after work but this oh, time, right, but I needed a day off, we go three days in a row, body's not good man. What yourselves? Yeah. Same old? Oh no! Oh, oh. Yeah, that's oh my days, another goal! <laughs> That's it, I'm playing the I'm playing the winner, so oh my you've got more chance man. <laughs> Have you played this before? A few times. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to the back a few minutes here. Yeah? Get ready, get ready, I'm gonna beat your watch. Yeah, we'll see. Lost 5 0. Thrashing. Well played? Played man. You've got the better of me there? Yeah yeah. What should we do now? Let me wait for Zane, innit? it? Forget Zay, it was a rematch. Nah, he wanted to play for. Oh, come on, man, I'm not rematch. I need him. to get my revenge. You won't mind. Game. You won't mind. Sure. Yeah. Alright, my well. You're not finished yet. You took about five, ten minutes. We thought, you know, we'll have a rematch. Nah, you know what we started, man. What was yeah, it took your time. Took your time. No, that's not fair, man. It's my goal now. Let this How's game, that fair? Let this game finish until the next game. It took too long. Uh, well, that's not fair. That's my goal. It's going to be ages. Nah, just wait. Play on your phone or something. Be patient. Good goal. Like that goal, Zane. Does anybody think that goal? Does it go? Almost finished, man. Lost again. Pass it, pass it, it's my goal. You know what? Let me have one more game. Let me have one more game. I'm getting nothing about it. It's 15 minutes. Nah, I'm saying, man. One more game. It's my goal, man. One more. One more game. Get out. Get you know what you're playing like? Just get out, man. Nah, relax. I'm getting okay, off. I'm sick of this guy. I'm getting shoes. Where are you going, now? Nah, I'm getting off. Get I'm getting off. 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 I'm getting I'm not in the mood, man. To play one match, you wanted to play before. I'm not in the mood, man. Oh, what, are you going as well? Oh, God, if you're not playing. Then get out, you shut the door on the way out as well, yeah? Alright, take care. Hadith of this week is anger is the key to every evil. I'll repeat it again for you. Anger is the key to every evil. This hadith is by Imam Hassan al Askari alayhi salam. Make sure you are writing this down. Very important hadith that we've got this week by Imam Hassan al Askari alayhi salam, in which he mentions the evil is to keep is the key to all. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the hadith, but I know that anger is the key. To anger evil. is the key to all evil. That's it. Look at that hadith. It's a beautiful hadith. As also you, you can see in the video that we just showed you as well. That look how anger can have influences on your relationships in your life, your friends. That's what mm -hmm. we try to show in that video that look, one person got angry, the other friend got annoyed, he left. And because of that, the other friend, the third uh, friend that was in that video, he wasn't even involved in that issue. And, and because of that, I, the guy started going angry at him as well. Exactly, and this shows that when you get angry, you're not just affecting yourself, you're affecting everybody around you. Exactly, so anger is one of them things that uh, can cause a lot of destruction um, if you don't control it. Right, Brother Hamza, I'd like to ask you a quick question here. What, what makes you angry? I think then what makes me angry is when I don't get things my own way. And secondly, if somebody betrays my trust. I think these are two issues for me personally that makes me very angry. How yeah. about yourself? Me, I mean, me generally, uh, I think it's, we have to be honest and say, look, we do get angry mm -hmm. at people, 
Um, we're human beings. We're human beings. We do get. This is the whole concept of the program that we're telling you our faults as well, and inshallah, we want to improve ourselves as well as help the people who are watching out there. But yeah, generally you get angry at people, family members, um, friends. You can have a bit of a argument with them or something, get heated up, or, or something. Like me personally, what, I, what angers me is when I'm on a way to somewhere and I'm in a rush and there's traffic. That's, that's it, when a car's in standby, bro, I'm like, oh my days, how, when am I going to get that sat again? I'm going to like... So there you go, Zen has road rage, so if you ever see <laughs> Zen on the road, make sure you stay away from stay him. Stay away, or there's going to be some anger issues going on. But yeah, definitely, we're going to be talking more about anger. Yes. But I think we need to reveal, I think that all the viewers are urging to pick up that phone and win that camera that... Um, was on before yes but yeah that's, but obviously for that you need to have a quiz question you don't want to make things too easy for you that's that's one thing you need to I realize this is a very hard one but before we get there where is the giving hand where is the giving hand, giving giving hand, hand. Where are you? Are you he's no. not there and he's oh, here there, there he is. you are come on giving hand. give me the question so all the viewers can out there can see he's playing tricks on me again he's not <laughs> letting go <laughs> there you go i've got the giving hand thank you very much giving i'll hand. watch this week's uh, quiz question but this answer. week's quiz question is which surah were revealed? There you go. Which surah has been revealed twice in the Holy Quran? I'll repeat again for you. Which surah has been revealed twice in the Holy Quran? Now I think that is a difficult question. Difficult question. Which surah has been revealed twice in the Holy Quran? Revealed twice. Remember, it's not which surah has been repeated twice. Revealed twice. So the question is at the bottom of the screen, and the phone number is there as well. So make sure you pick up that call if you want to win that prize. Should we show them the prize again? Let's see. Let's show them the prize again. It's Let's see. We got that prize up again. The digital camera, which is 10 megapixel. 10 megapixel camera. It's white color. You can connect it to your PC. You can take photographs, transfer them, put them on social media, or just keep them in at home on your computer. Anything you want to do. The small size as well. So easily, put, easily be able to carry around in your pocket, in your uh, handbag. So it's, it's there for. Uh, very good purpose. So also. all the all the viewers who are eager to win the prize, ring in, answer the question to your to the quiz, and if you get the right answer, we'll put you on the lucky draw. Inshallah, yeah, and that draw will be um, revealed at the end of the program, and we'll see who wins. But before we carry on talk about anger, I want to mention that the last program that we did do, um, the gift was that uh, mini speaker. Do you remember? Yes, we do. The yeah. brother who won that from a US of A. USA was Brother Amin Nakvi, I believe. I can't 100% remember, I'm pretty sure it's Amin Nakvi. Uh, if you can please ring us and give us your contact details because we do want to give you these prizes straight away. We want to send them out in a post and want you to receive them and obviously hopefully make the most of it, um, the good use of the prize that you get. So inshallah, the prize is still actually waiting. We're actually waiting for your details. So please ring us if you're watching today. Um, if you're not, make sure uh, you email us or get it through to us uh, whenever you can, well, you remember. <laughs> and inshallah, we'll send that prize out as soon as possible. I think we have our first caller. First caller. Shall we take this call? Yeah. What? Asalaamu Alaikum. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Kambal and I'm calling from Leicester. Leicester. What was your name again? Kambal. Kambal. Kambal, okay. Kambal from Leicester. How are you? Fine. Brilliant. Are you going to answer that quiz question? Yes. Right, let's repeat that question. Which surah of the Holy Quran has been revealed twice? What's the answer? Surah Fatiha. Are you sure? Yes. Where did you get the answer from? Did you ask somebody or did you know yourself? Asked. I asked somebody. Who did you ask? Who did you ask? I think we may have dropped the call. Cause drop, but we can enter in. We will Definitely certainly enter this person draw. into the draw that we. The, if the it's the correct answer. We'll know at the end. Definitely. We'll tell you guys at the right. end. Right. Anger, brother. Coming back to anger. Yes. Now, a lot of things make you angry. Um, now, what, what generally, what do you get from the meaning of anger? What is anger? I think then we need to first of all look at what anger actually is. Anger is an emotion which is built in in all human beings. Everybody at every stage of life do get angry. I mean, there's all certain issues with both of us. We get angry. Our uh, friends, our family, like you said, we need to understand what anger actually is. Anger itself, from what I know about anger, is you get that from when you're agitated. Agitated. I think that's one thing you realize. Anger comes from there. Anger also comes when you want revenge from somebody, when you're out there for vengeance. Yes. That's, one of, that's, Very that's also an, another thing where anger comes from. And, you know, when you do get angry, you, you are blinded to everything else. You don't understand what's happening or things around you. You just want to do 
what you think at that time is the right thing and anger itself as, you, as Imam Sadi said that it blinds you and it's, it's the evil it's the evil to all the things so that's, that's something we need to look at as definitely well. I mean I've seen I've seen it myself in um, when I was back in university days um, people when we used to play football as a group five-a-side football games one person would tackle the other person it'd get it'd hurt him he'd fall on the floor get angry you think I'm going to play football here mm. <laughs> he'd get angry and just deliberately just to get his revenge he forgets about the game forgets about team spirit, forgets about the motive of the game, just went straight for him and took his legs out. And the, he didn't even have the ball. So there's so many examples out there where you, which we can all relate to you think, have we got angry in this situation? Have we got angry in that situation? But anger is one of them things, brother, like I mentioned before, it does lead to all evil. Diff what kind of evil can it lead to? There's lots of things that anger can actually do, but before we get to all the other stuff they can, it can do, we need to address different things that Imam have actually said. About anger. I Definitely, but before we do that, brother, I think we have another caller. Another call, okay. Assalamu alaikum, who's calling and where are you calling from? Assalamu uh, alaikum, Wa alaikum salam. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Um, Sanya Nakvi from Manchester. Sanya Nakvi from Manchester. And would you like to answer the quiz question? Um, yeah, is it a little fatiha? You always do this, don't you? Every week you, you, you ask. And you us, ask. You ask us, is it Surah Al Fatiha? You need to say. I know he's your mum, but he's not, gonna, he's, not, he's not allowed to tell you the answer. Is we'll tell you the answer at the end. <laughs> I've got another question for you, Sanya. What makes you angry? Um, uh, when I get lazy. Homework slips out of school. When you get out of school late? No, when I get late, homework slips at school. Oh, when you get late, homework slips at school. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Make sure you're doing your homework on time, all right? Yeah. All right, thank you for your call. Take care, cut off face. Yeah, there you go. So she's a, a young girl, age, I think, 14. There you and go. She's, she gets angry when she realizes she hasn't done her homework on time. Obviously, that involves a lot of things that you need to manage your time, make sure you go sleep early. You have enough time to do your homework, but yeah, your brother, you mentioned about the Imam. As, absolutely, as, I was about to say that Imam has said such a beautiful hadith, and I'm, I've written it down. Imam Bakr salam has said, indeed, the anger is the spark lit by Satan in the heart of the son of Adam. So there you go, anger itself, where it comes from, is is it's a spark lit by Satan. So we need to understand that anger is within you, but it's coming from all the evil actions or evil side of you. So you need to control that, you need to understand what it is and actually look at, look at different techniques that can be controlled. Definitely, look, when you set a log on fire um, or set some petrol on fire, it can cause a lot of damage. It's the same with anger, like brother just mentioned the Hadith, beautiful Hadith, that the uh, anger is uh, a spark lit by Satan. So obviously he's going to light that fire, look at the amount of damage that can do. Because Satan works in uh, various mysterial, mysterial ways to deviate us from our religion, from the truth. And obviously his aim is to make sure that we become bad people. Absolutely, and that's what it is. Anger leads to, as you asked before, what does anger lead to? I think anger in our society can lead to, for example, abusive language. I mean, people do you use that when you're angry and you try to take revenge and you also slander other people. These are all big, big vices that it's, anger leads to. I mean, to. I think it's very destructive the most when it becomes part of your nature. But it's built inside you that no matter what, I have to get angry. I mm. cannot control my anger. That's the point where you think, you know what, no matter what, what you do with this person, he's going to get angry and then it can cause a lot of damage. I think you have another caller, brother. Asalaamu Alaikum. What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, hello, I'm calling from Bradford and my name is Hibak. Hibak from Bradford. So do you know the answer to the quiz? Yeah, is it Suto Fatia? I can't tell you the answer, but I'll definitely put you into the quiz draw. So did you know the answer yourself or did you ask somebody? I did research. You did research, okay. Research, that's what we like, brilliant. Make sure you carry on answering these questions each week. We like to hear from all our viewers. Thank you for your call, Hibba from Bradford. Khudafis. Yes, brother, you mentioned things that we can, anger can lead to. Anger can lead, exactly. So these are the things that, for me personally, which, what I've noticed on a day-to-day -day basis, that these are the things that anger can lead to. And we need to control those things. And there's different ways of controlling these things, which we will get into. But me personally, how I like to control these things, I think I like to just take time out. If I'm angry, I just like to just sit back, assess the situation, and then take some take some action after. But that's me, me personally, what I like to do is when I get angry, um, I, that's, this is one reason I joined the gym, because when I, when I get angry, I like to take all the stress out, all the anger out in the gym. So when it builds up inside you, instead of letting it out on people, family, your friends, 
do something different that will help. Mm. I mean, there's a lot of different things that we, inshallah, we're going to talk about now as well. Mm. The different ways in which we can control our anger. How can we do that? I think our Imam has said very beautifully that if you are standing up and if you're angry and standing up, best thing is to just sit down, just calm yourself, just relax. Yes. And that's the easiest thing to do. I mean, everybody can do that. When you're angry, you always get up and you say, okay. You're yeah. ready. Exactly. You're in that, in that vengeance mode. You that's know? it. <laughs> and the last thing you want to do is do anything in, well, while you're angry. So Imam has said, just sit down. Relax. I'm just having flashbacks. I'm just having flashbacks. I think actually, it's so beautiful. The Imam is aware of absolutely everything that we are not aware of. And it just, ma it just makes you think that, look, when someone gets angry, they do get up, don't they? Don't they, yes. <laughs> like, eh, I'm ready for it, right? Right? We're having a fight now, do you know what I mean? But look at this, you get angry. I've never seen many people yeah. go going absolutely uh, mad or angry in a sitting down position, have you? No, not So personally. if you're angry and you sit down, I'm pretty sure that will help, definitely. But we have another caller with it. Asalaamu Alaikum, what's your name and where are you calling from? Wa alaikum salam, it's Murtza calling from Manchester. Wa alaikum salam, Murtza, how are you? I'm fine. So, Murtza, do you know the answer to the quiz? Yes, it is Surat al Fatiha. Surat al Fatiha, okay. Murtza from Manchester. Murtza, what makes you angry? Um, when I get blamed for something I didn't do. When you get blamed for something that you didn't do? Hmm, very interesting. Okay. Does, that, does that happen a lot? Um, um, Sometimes, yeah. Brilliant. Sometimes. And how do you control the anger? What do you do? I count to ten. Count to ten. Very good there method. Go. Fantastic. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Paul. Well, look at that. That's there another method. So there's another. We have two methods already, and we want viewers out there to tell us what what they do to control their anger. I personally, I sit down, relax, take time out. Murtaza himself, he counts till ten. That's another very good technique. Is there anything you like to do then? What was the main thing? Main thing for me, like I said before, I like to go to the gym. There but there's a lot there. of other methods, um, obviously in the research that we carry out mm -hmm. every week. Um, we've come out with quite a few different methods in which we can um, adapt into our life to control our anger. One of them is to stay in ob uh, in Vuzu. Absolutely. Because obviously the, there's a beautiful part, I can't remember, I think it's in a research somewhere which mentions about why we should stay in Vuzu and how that can help control the anger. I mean, I think it's mentioned something about S uh, setting something on fire yeah basically anger is from satan you mentioned before yes. and it says here it says anger is from satan and satan is created from fire as fire is extinguished with water whenever some someone some of you get angry ye should perform wuzu at that time because that will extinguish the anger inside you as well so that's a definite important point i think brother that's a very very good hadith from our prophet who has said that S satan is made from fire i mean anger is from satan satan is made from fire and how do you get rid of fire you throw water at it so easiest thing is to do wuzu and you know get, get rid of your anger. So that's another technique that we can do. So this so far we got four techniques. First, take time out, sit back, relax. Next one, count till ten. Third one, gym. go go to gym. Fourth one, do wuzu. There's loads. I mean, look, just reciting the rood on the prophet and his holy uh, family. That just that, that's a massive soab itself. So if you do that, obviously you're deviating your mind from the anger, angry points and the things that you're gonna say to the contemplating on the Prophet and his family and sending peace and blessings upon them. So the root is very important itself. The root itself is important and also I think uh, even if you take examples of the Prophet, I'd like to share with the viewers out there an uh, example of Hazrat Musa salam, where uh, it says in the Torah that God speaks to Moses and he says to him, Oh Moses, control your anger towards your, towards your people or towards yourself whom I've given authority so that I may spare you from my wrath. So in this Beautiful, um, is it a hadith? Did you say? Yes. In this beautiful hadith, look at it. It's even uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that, look, I will put, I'll put you upon my wrath if you do not control your anger. And he's saying that to a prophet. So even so prophets get angry. Pro even the, when God is saying that to a prophet, who are we? Absolutely. We definitely need to control anger. I think we need to take this moment to apologize to anyone that we've angered out there. And um, sincerely, if we've angered you, we've said anything that you didn't like, that you thought we were angry towards you, I really would like to apologize because at the end of the day, it's not just about sharing um, anger and different topics with you, it's about learning for ourselves, for you out there as well, and improving ourselves. And inshallah, we will take this on board. Absolutely. And I'd like to reiterate what Zan just said that if I have angered anybody out there, I do like to apologize on my behalf. Definitely. And also, there's me various different other methods in which we can use. Um, Obviously, reading the Quran is very important. You read the Quran, uh, it brings tranquility into your heart, it brings peace into your heart. You become get a connection with the Quran, and that ge that is like a guidebook, isn't it, brother, mm -hmm. on how to live your life? Absolutely. Even Quran ha has mentioned a verse about anger. 
is from Surah Al-Imran, yeah. verse 130, 130, 134, yeah. where it says, I've got it written down, those those who, those who spend in ease as well as in, in straightness, and those who restrain themselves from anger and pardon, Allah, Allah loves those doers of good and He rewards them. Fantastic, look at that. So Allah loves those people who can control their anger. So it's very important that people who get angry, uh, I mean, I'm <coughs> sure we've all got angry at some point in our lives. Me, brother Hamza, everyone out there, we've all must have got angry at some point. We need to make sure that we are doing much as we can to make sure that we control the anger and it stays within us. And um, look, my, uh, m my name is Zen Ghazmi, so we're supposed to be patient. <laughs> <laughs> Our name actually means patient. We're from, uh, I'm from the family of Imam Musa al-Qadim uh, And I, even I get angry. So look, the name, my name, my title itself has Qadim in it, which means the patient one who controls his anger. So obviously we need to learn lessons from that. Um, that look, patience is one of the main mm. things that can help you uh, control your anger. Because if you show patience, then obviously you're keeping all them emotions inside you. Absolutely, and Imam Ali has said a very beautiful thing here that w the one who has control, who's victorious over his anger, sorry, over his anger, is the best person. So Imam Ali is saying such a such a beautiful uh, these day, and he's saying that one who's victorious over his anger is the most powerful person. And uh, I think Imam Ali also mentioned that look, anger starts with madness and ends with regret because once you've carried out the action that was built due to that anger, you're going to do something stupid, you're going to say something that's going to be hurtful, you're going to create uh, falls and breaks in relationships within your family and your friends and your relatives and afterwards you're going to sit there and think, what did I do? Why did I do that? And how can I go around solving it? Now that issue of going around contemplating and solving the whole problem that you've just created through your anger, I think that's more of a headache mm -hmm. than actually getting angry in the first place, so why get angry at all is a the question. There you go. Why get angry and also address the issues that are making you angry. So on a daily basis, from what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all the things that make me angry and I'll try to address those issues and see if I can resolve them. Right, we have another caller. Assalamu alaikum. Who's <laughs> calling? Where are you calling from? Oh, wa alaikum salam. My name is Hasnain and I'm calling from Hull. Uh, wa alaikum salam, brother Hasnain from Hull. How are you today? You okay? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine, yeah. You're not angry, but was I you? No, I'm not angry right now. No. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> That's always good to know. Yes, are you going to answer the quiz question today? Oh, yeah, well, well the answer is well, Fatiha. Okay, and would you like to say something about anger and how we can control the anger? And if you can share and let the viewers know, and I mean, what kind of things make people angry? Um, what makes me angry? Well, yeah. my what wife makes, makes you me angry? angry. <laughs> Say again? She's at, uh, sitting at the back and laughing right now. <laughs> and how do you control your anger? Well, um, I mean, uh, everyone has got uh, uh, a point where one can get angry. But I think uh, the best way out there is, especially if you are at home, uh, uh, whether you're fighting or uh, just uh, arguing with your brother or sister, or even if it's your wife, just step out of the house and just go out. Just leave the other person alone, spend some time outside, do something else, come back, and that's it. If fantastic. You, it, you know don't, what? Don't that's just, the argument. Just, just, that is brilliant. Just that, is brilliant. that is fantastic, Brother That's somewhere. beautiful what you just said. That reminds me of Imam Ali in a battlefield mm. where he's about to strike someone and that enemy of his spits in the face of the Imam. Now, Imam gets angered at that. Now, he steps away and starts walking yeah. until he cools down. And then comes back and he goes, why didn't you just kill me when I spat in your face? He goes, because then at that point I was angry and I would be taking my own revenge upon you. Whereas my cause, for, my cause is for Allah only. So he walks around, kills down and then kills him. Look at that. That's again Imam's technique of, you know, overtaking your anger and also controlling your anger. That's, that's an amazing example. That's if, you, if, you, if you know me, if me and Hamza are angry from today because one of us will just walk off the sets. Should I just do that now? <laughs> no, <laughs> why, why are you angry for? <laughs> but I think we have another caller, brother. Asalaamu As Alaikum, what's your name and where are you calling from? Wa Alaikum Asalaam, my name is Anis Nakhri and I call from New York, USA. Fantastic. And, uh, Wa Alaikum Asalaam. Brilliant, uh, brother. You uh, Make sure you stay online, you do not disconnect the call Anis because Nakri. you are the winner of last week. Do you remember? I call from USA, Anis Nakhri. Anish Nakhvi, brother, you won the prize last uh, last program. Do you remember? I know, I know. I know you haven't I called know. us back. You need to leave your details with the production team so they can they can give you your prize from last week. Otherwise, I'm going to take it. 
I'm not going to take, I'll I've, give it back. I've been told by the control room that make sure you please ring back after the program finishes. Is that okay? Okay, okay. Thank All you right. very much for your call. And inshallah, Thank yes, you. please ring back and give your details. And inshallah, we'll send that speaker out from... And brother Nis, before you go, tell us what makes you angry and how do you overcome that anger? Thank you. Brother, how do you get... What, do you get, what makes you angry? I think we may have oh, dropped the call. Oh, we dropped the call. It would have been nice to hear his views. I know, it's good to always hear what, how, what makes people angry. But before we get to that, I'd like to share another story from uh, you know, our Imam and see what they have said about anger. There's, um, there's a very beautiful narration which we have from Imam Jafar Sadiq wow. Islam, where he's narrated it that a Bedouin, an Arab Bedouin came to the Holy Prophet and he asked him, he goes, tell me the essence of wisdom. Okay. And Prophet said to him, go back to your desert and control your anger. Wow. And then he said to him again, he goes, I ask you again, uh, tell me something good. And he said, look, go back and control your anger. And then he understood that anger is the root to all evil. That's and it. he said that Prophet said, said, said such a beautiful thing that when he went back, he controlled everything and um, led to good. And that leads to wisdom. Look at that. Exactly. Controlling anger leads to wisdom. We have another caller. Did I take this call? Asalaamu Alaikum. Who's calling? Where are you calling from? Alaikum. Hello, what's your Hello, name? Where are you calling from? My, my name is Imad Ali. I'm calling from Ireland. Ireland. I knew that. When I memorized you now, where you are, it's really nice to hear your voice. How are you today? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Um, I'm from Ireland. And the, 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 question, the, the answer to the question is um, Surah Al-Fatiha. Brilliant. Thank you for your answer. And where did you get the answer from? Um, I asked. Yeah, brilliant. Imad, does anything make you angry? Um, yeah, sometimes. What makes you angry? Tell me. Well, when I play matches and then when I lose, and <laughs> when I play at school like matches and I lose, sometimes and I get angry. But here's a very good. Remember, we've already said today. When next time that happens, when you lose, you get angry. Make sure you try and sit down, okay? Yeah. Thanks. Def and make Sit sure down or walk away from the situation. That Definitely, and let us know next week if that ever happens on how you reacted and what happened, okay? Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Carl. Take care, Khudafis. Right, brother, I think we need to move on to our next segment. The very important um, discussion that we're having today mm -hmm. is on anger. And obviously, as you know, we always like to link it to, the, uh, to our holy personality each week. So keep watching, and we're going to show you the biography of um, our 11th Imam who we've chosen today to speak about. And that is Imam Hassan al Askari alayhi salam. Oh, I think they say one more phone call before that. Okay. Asalaamu Alaikum, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Wa Alaikum as salam, this is Imran Rizvi from London. What's your name, Imran? Imran Rizvi. Imran Rizvi from London. So tell me, do you know the answer to the quiz? Um, yes, the answer to the quiz is Surah Al Fatiha. Right, okay. So, Thank you. So Imran, before you go, tell me, does anything make you angry? Yes, the long, up, the long hold on the line. Long hold on the line, okay. <laughs> so that, that's, they look, every, everybody's human and it makes people angry. So what do you do? What do you, how do you overcome your anger at that time? Hello, Imran? He cuts the call, that's what he does with it. That's it. When he's <laughs> angry, he just cuts the call. It's a good method because you don't want to say anything bad, do you? But yeah, brilliant. Right, now we're going on to the Holy Personality this week, which we have chosen. It's our 11th Imam, Imam Hassan al Askari. If you stay watching into your uh, TVs now, we'll show you a quick biography of our uh, 11th Imam, inshallah. There you go. Um, the Imam's name is Has Imam Hassan al Askari, uh, Agnamun Abu Muhammad, titles Askari. His father's name is Imam Ali Naki al Hadi, the 10th Holy Imam. Mother's name is Hazrat Bibi. Uh, Haditha, also known as Salil. There's other names as well, such as Sosan. Um, birth dates, 10th Rabi al Thani, uh, or 8th Rabi al Thani, or 24th Rabi al Awal, 232 AH. This has been mentioned in different traditions. Birthplace, Medina. Also mentioned that he may have been born in Samara as well. He died at the age of 28. He was martyred on 8th Rabi al Awal, 260 AH. Uh, his Imam had lasted 6 to 7 years. Death place is in Samara. He was uh, poisoned by uh, Al Mutamid. Uh, which was the Abbasid ruler at that time and his holy shrine is in Samara buried alongside his father now that is something look at that every week we show this this is the opportunity for all the viewers now to write this down learn facts about our 
uh, Imams, the holy personalities in uh, our religion and inshallah look it's, you've got some beautiful facts there different things that obviously a few things we didn't know ourselves mm -hmm. so you learn from it each week so that's our imam this week that we have chosen and inshallah brother hamza we're going to be talking about different things of the imam's life in which can show us how to control our anger i think imam himself has been in such position difficult positions where he's got angry and he had to do a lot of different t things that he you know, control his anger and we will elaborate more on that as Def well. definitely i mean when yeah, as we all probably know, the Imam spent a lot of his time under house arrest, in prison, in Baghdad, in Samara. And the time when the Abbasid government actually arrested him and put the Imam into prison, the Imam was very patient. He didn't even say anything. I mean, if anyone arrested us tomorrow on the street for something we didn't do, for being totally innocent, I think, I'm sure, our reaction would be to start kicking off saying, What's happened here? Why is this? What, what do you mean? I'm not going nowhere. Look at the Imam's patience. Why did he show patience? Why did he not say anything? Because he put all his trust into Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I think that's an amazing point to think that if you put your trust into Allah, then that will result in you controlling your anger. What do you think of that, Brother Hamza? I think, th I think that's, that's perfectly what you know, the, that we've learned from the example of our Imam. And if Imam can show patience, then surely we are the believers of Imam and we should show more patience. And, and uh, Imam Jabir Sadiq has said very beautifully that a mu'min or a believer is a person when angered, his anger does not lead him astray and stray from the truth so therefore when you're angry you just stay put to what you you know what the truth is fantastic that you just said there a moment is someone who stays you know he first of all he controls his anger and then stays to the truth and he controls his anger now the imam sadiq i mentioned beautiful hadith there um, in which he says a moment that's the key word a moment i think the biggest cure for anger in my opinion is let's all actually become moments ourselves now obviously we're talking about our 11th Imam, What's, what signs did Imam Hassan al Askari say are the signs of a moment? I'd like to mention them, I think it's very important that he prays or he or she prays 51 rakats of Salah daily and they prostrate on Khaki Shafa, the soil of Karbala, um, wears a ring on their right hand, repeats verses of the Hazan and Ikama, recites Bismillah loudly in his Salah, Praise Fajr before the stars disappear and Dhuhr before the, star, the sun starts to decline. Uh, also recites Kunut in Salah and dyes his hair and beard. Recites five takbirs in Salatul Mayyad. Now these are the signs of a moment. I think if we can bring these um, qualities that, um, and signs that Imam Hassan al Askari al Assam has mentioned, I think that will be a biggest solution to control our anger what do you think and not just that you'll also become a moment a believer and you'll be believing in the right path and also you'll be you'll be controlling yourself that's it look at that i mean brother i think the i think the one that sticks out for us there is dying his hair and beard we're getting old now i think we're definitely getting old i definitely need to dye my hair <laughs> definitely <laughs> i mean look i mean not just imam hassan al -Asqari, al -Salam, all the holy personalities if you look at the ones who are all um companions um the close companions and the Ahlul Bayt, all the prophets. Now they always suppressed their anger and treated whoever wronged them with kindness and forgiveness. Now even Imam Ali alayhi salam, um, when he was struck on the head in Masjid al Kufa, um, he, when he was on his last stages, when the enemy was brought to him, look how the Imam treats that person. He gives, offers him the drink that was prepared for the family. So mm -hmm. he said. Look how the tree. Even him. even Imam Ali doesn't, you know, let his anger control him. He controls his anger. So anybody who's anyone victorious else? over his anger. Anyone else in that situation? I personally wouldn't be. I don't. Someone think harms person. someone in our family, and they come to your house. First mm. thing we're going to do is make take sure revenge. We take yeah. it. Make sure we take the teeth out. But look at the imams. This is the lesson that the imams teach us, and this is shown in every single imam, including the prophet as well. And inshallah, I think it's very important that we all learn from these programs that we are doing and the hadith that is we're showing on the on the TV. Brother, can we have the hadith? I think I want to mention the hadith one last time for today. It's very important that we all write this down and implement it into our own lives. I mean, I mean, myself, I'm feeling guilty because I know I've angered a lot of people. I've been angry towards a lot of people and uh, we need to make sure that we eliminate this bad thing from our lives. What's the hadith, brother? Anger is the key to every evil. So there you go. Imam Hassan al-Asqari has said that anger is the key to every evil. 
Right, I think we're going to be opening the phone lines again for all the viewers out there. Um, we always do this, so we always shut the phone lines and then reopen and give them a bit of a surprise. Yeah, we, li we like to discuss the topic a little bit more so that at least you understand that we've talked about something important, that you can take something away from these topics or these shows on a weekly basis and implement them um, as well throughout the week. And give us feedback of how you've done. Next week, we're going to just ring us and tell us how you've controlled your anger. We've given you so many methods today out there, you know, so many stuff that you can do on a daily basis. See what you can do and get back to us, see if it helped you. Definitely. I mean, we have a caller. Asalaamu As Alaikum. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Asalaamu Alaikum. My name is Kaniz. And where are you calling from, Kaniz? London. London. Kaniz, do you know the answer to the quiz? I'm Surah Al Namal. Surah Al Namal, okay. So, Kaniz, does anything make you angry? Um, when my little brother just annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, how do you control that? Can you control that? Is that possible to control? It's quite hard to control because when he just comes back, it just builds up inside of you. Uh, I, I understand. I mean, Brother Hamza, I'm sure we've had arguments with our brother and sister when we were kids. I mean, we how, 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 what advice can you give? I think to young kids, is the same thing I would tell to, to adults. Just, just walk away. Walk away from the situation, give yourself time, and then come back and you'll realize that there is a solution. I think I think sitting down is a very important one, as we mentioned mm. before. And remember, count to ten. If not, count to twenty. After, if you have to <laughs> double up, okay. And most important yeah. thing is do wazoo as well. If you are angry, do wazoo because that gets rid of all the anger. Thank you for your call, Sister Kaniz. Uh, and if all else fails, then she was from London. From London. And if, if, if somebody wants to do your technique, they can go join a gym and take the anger out on the punching bag. Punching bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good method actually because. <laughs> It just, I, I don't know if you ever tried it, but if you go gym or you do some physical workout, yeah. it's like, it's like you just, just you take your frustration out, out yeah, isn't you it? You, you take, just come out. It's everything is, you know, and you get so tired that you, you don't even become angry anymore. That's You're it, just it, thirsty. It, to, <laughs> it just erupts out of you. So it's yeah. a good, it is a very good technique. It's one that I like to use anyway. But yeah, if, do you have another caller? Yeah. Yes, we have another caller. Assalamu alaikum. Who's calling away? Calling from? Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Who's calling and where are you calling uh, from? Yes, my name is uh, yes, my name is Mrs. Hussain from Sheffield and I would like to answer the question. Yes. Uh, the Surah Fatiha. Surah Fatiha. Can I ask you as well, um, I mean, have you found this program useful today? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm very impressed by the program. And thank you very much for everything. No, and no, no. You don't need to say thanks at all. But all right, I mean, can you give us some... Um, Solution: How to control the anger. Oh, she's May gone. Dropped the call. Doesn't matter. We need to have some more um, views from the viewers out there as well. How can we control our anger? Give us some more methods of control our anger. It's very important. Mm. I think uh, thinking before you speak. That's also one of the things that makes you angry because you don't like it. like the hadith of Imam. You don't uh, you don't want to be in regret because you can say you can say for example abusive stuff and uh, you can slander. You can do all these things which are evil. So, you know, I think thinking before you speak when you're angry is also one of the solutions that you can do. And as we mentioned before, look, the Imam gave them signs of being a moment, mm. and he was such that um, that his, he used to respond to his enemies in such a way. Now they're the ones who were angry at him. He's responding such a way. His his morals were so beautiful, beautifully perfected that his enemies would become his loyal servants and his loyal lovers. Mm. Look at that. Looks, all our imams have been through such a huge hardship which made them, they, they've been through all the emotions. You, if you think we, we, we've been through any emotion, it's nothing compared to what our imams have been through. And in every situation, we have examples, solutions to all our problems. Definitely. I think we have another caller, Brother Hamza. Asalaamu Alaikum. What's your name and where are you calling from? Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum What's your name and where are you calling from? I call you from uh, my name is Sayyid Mubashir Ali. Sayyid Mubashir Ali from Cardiff. Crawley. Crawley. Okay, so tell me, tell me, do you know the answer to the quiz first? Uh, Surat Al-Amp. Surat Al? Surat Fatiha. Surat Fatiha. Surat Fatiha. And did you know the answer yourself, brother? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Sayyid Mubashir, tell me, does anything make you angry? Uh, just control myself. Control, okay. yourself. control How, yourself. And what advice would you give to the young people out there, brother, who, who get angry over nothing, get into fights? Especially the youth, the yeah. kids. If you have anger, I just control myself. Do you count to ten? Do you walk away? Do you take it out on the gym?
I think Proverbs. You may have dropped the comment. But anyway, we oh, have yeah. we've written his name down on the quiz. Yeah, but that's very important. I mean, also I'll have to quickly share because it was the Valadit of our 11th Imam a few weeks yes. back. I'll have to quickly share uh, one of the titles of the Imam, which is uh, Askari. Now that title came. Um, is a story narrated which came from um, someone called Mutawakkil which he wants to boast in front of the Imam look mm. at the size of my army and he, he got the army in front of the Imam showed him look I've got all these people the massive army so the Imam said to him look through my two fingers and see what you tell me what you see he looked through there and he saw a massive army of angels spearmen everything and from that point he called the Imam he gave the title to the Imam of Askari, Askari which means the one with the army Army or Lashkar? That's Lashkar, it. that's yeah. it. Look at that. Fantastic. I think we have another caller. Assalamu alaikum. Who's calling? Where are you calling from? No. Hello. What's your name, please? No. Call's been dropped. Oh. What's going on? Doesn't matter. Well, at least we'll, we'll still carry on. You can hear us hear us talk about the show, hear us talk about different different issues. But but I think so far, how many techniques have we labeled for all the views? I've the lost count. Okay, should we try to count? If you can. Okay, first one is you walking away. Second one, you count till 10. Third one, gym. Also, what was the other one? Read the rude. Read the rude. Read sit the down. Quran, patience. Wuzu. All these, there's so many techniques out there. So if you do get angry from now on, and try to implement these techniques. See if you can do wuzu, it helps. See if, it, see if, um, if you're standing, sit down. See if you walk away from the situation. But mainly, always think before you act. I think that's the main thing that I would normally do or you know anybody else would out there would do so if, if for example Zen I get angry at you just tell me and I'll walk away definitely I mean if today's program has been of any use for you lot out there make sure you go onto Facebook and you hit a like on our page the HNZ show yes no I didn't say that right we have to say it together okay and make sure you hit a like on the, the HNZ, HNZ show. show definitely so make sure you go into Facebook, click on there. There's a, is it a thumbs up? Is it on there? Yeah, there's, lots, there's a thumb up there. there we have bloopers Let's from our videos. Morning, we have, oh, we have make sure you watch out for that sign and press it. Yeah? I think. Definitely. And inshallah on there, we've got video clips of behind the scenes. Yeah, we have bloopers from all the videos that you've seen today. And we have lots of other stuff. You can question us. You can just give us your advice, feedback. Yeah. And if there's anything that you want to say to us, you, that's one of the platforms that you can use. I think we have our last caller of the day. Hello? No, that's, no? that's it. Calls have ended now. Lines closed. Lines have closed. Right, we will be announcing the winner very soon. But before we do, as you know, I like to recite something for everyone out there. So before I do, a loud, very, very loud salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Are you going to help me with this, brother? Of course, I understand. Na poochie ke kya husain hai Na poochie ke kya husain hai kya husain hai na poochiye ke kya husain hai khuda ke din ka na khuda har ibtida ki ibtida karam ki intaha husain hai na poochiye ke kya husain hai hai jis ki fikr kar bala Hussain wo dimag hai Yeh panj tal ki anjman Ka panch wa chirag hai Hassan ka pehla hum safar Hassan ka pehla hum safar Ali ka dousra pidar Imam Tisra Hussain hai Na poochie ke kya Hussain hai Kya Hussain hai Na poochie ke kya Hussain hai Salawat Allahumma Salli ala Muhammad Wa ala Muhammad Now it's the time that you've all been waiting for There you go, drum rolls Drum rolls, there's no drum rolls again I'm going to do the drum rolls this week are you ready? I am ready. Hey, well, this, this is all the right people. Before we actually do the quiz, let's give them the right answer. Should we give them the right answer this week? Okay, so the right answer this week was... Surah Al-Fatiha. So let's get the giving hand. Where's the giving hand? Should we ask the giving hand to do this? Yes, come on. Let's giving hand, giving come hand. on over and you choose the right answer. Choose Here we the go. right answer. Here we go. Shall I play tricks with you now? <laughs> <laughs> 
Here we go. Here we go. The winner of this week's quiz is Kamba from Leicester. Congratulations. Congratulations, Kam Mubarak. Kamba Very from Leicester. Cumber from Leicester. So please, brother Cumber, after the show com finishes, make sure you pick up that phone, ring the studio, and give your full details. And inshallah, we will be sending you out a fantastic prize. Just like to show the viewers that prize one last time. Brother Cumber is yours, brother. There you brother, go. Brother, it's yours. Like, actually, do you want to see it? It's up to you. If you don't, we're going to send it out to you. Anyway. <laughs> it's too late now. You, can't, it's you your want prize. a prize. Yeah, there you go. So look, all the viewers, they're so enthusiastic about this. And you know they're calling in and they're and the same the right answer so make sure you research it ask people here we go the prize for this week was digital camera it's white color and you can connect it to your computer you can keep it to yourself or you know take pictures here you go nothing this person gonna be a photographer from now on that's it make sure you send us some pictures that you take with that camera inshallah we'd love to see how good your photography skills are and there you go the winner is at the bottom brother cumber from leicester that's your prize just like to wrap up the show again towards the end mm -hmm. of it now um, it's very important that look we um, take the, the points very seriously as well I know it's a humorous program mm -hmm. we like to enjoy it we have a laugh about it obviously light on the heart but at the end of the day the serious aspect as well is make sure you learn from today's program you write down what you've learned and you implement it into your lives inshallah we'll definitely be implement it in our own lives especially in our life so all these techniques i've learned a lot from today's program if there's anything if something if one technique doesn't work for me i'll try the different one and see if that one works for me i think the vuzu one was a beautiful i love that i mean yeah. it extinguished like if, um water extinguishes the fire the vuzu extinguishes and if you're in vuzu all the time then surely there's no we probably would not get angry anyway exactly there you go that's another thing let's let's put that to the trial so don't just do vuzu when you're angry just stay in vuzu stay in state of cleanliness all the time that's it so inshallah now we're going to end the program with Dua uh, al like all um, like every week and inshallah we'd like to uh, well let's start let's do the Dua inshallah yeah Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Allahumma kulli waliyika al-hujjat ibn al-Hasan salawatuka alayhi wa ala abai fi hadhi al-sa'a wa fi kulli sa'a waliyan wa hafidha wa qaidan wa nasira wa dalilan wa ayna hatta tuskinahu ardaka tawa wa tumatiahu fiha tabila bi rahmatika ya arhaman rahimeen Allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala muhammad Like inshallah we will be back next week we're not going to disappear this time are we? No we're going to we're going to definitely be back next Sunday 8 o'clock on Hidayat TV Hidayat TV with Zain no, 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 no. With the, the HZ show. show.